Welcome back to another Alliance War video. We have four Loki versus PYCB. They banned Future Ant-Man, Omega Sentinel, and Colossus. Uh, they went that specifically because they placed a Kitty on 22 um, and try to catch us up in a few different areas. Uh, for this war, I am um, I'm bringing Professor X, White Magneto, and Warlock. There was a few placements on the map that caused um, Andrew and I to go to specific fights which kind of limited my war um, and uh, and team a, a, in a bit, uh, for a bit, I should say. But um, just got a short war, and uh, I got a, a bonus fight for one of my alliance mates, uh, Hanford, who uh, who took this, uh, this uh, photon, who was one of the placements where why Andrew had to go a specific way for us. Um, but first up, let's take a look at the map. Um, so I'll be burning energy right here. And uh, this war is kind of uh, funny because I never play at work. Um, I hate playing at my desk, whether it's AQ or anything. I always get interrupted and, and, and stuff. And it's just it just comes into play later today or later this war. But looking at the map, you see right there um, where, where you saw that Kindred and that Photon in the middle. Um, I'm going to be taking Kindred with Professor X because uh, it's just an easy easy fight even when you royally mess up and Andrew had to go to the photon um, with uh, Herc because he's taken a photon boss with Herc before so it just made more sense to take our danger fights with people who've taken them and can get out of them uh, safely but first up we'll get more on uh, on that later but first up we got this Mephisto on uh, on path one and uh, ultra or warlock is global so I will be power burning him as long as I have an armor up so the plan basically here is I'm going to parry at start to build my uh, infection charges. I parry twice and then um, I want to basically get an infection up because the node has regen and he will be powered uh, burning or draining for per uh, uh, Warlock's abilities if he has a regen up. And, and then I'm waiting for, I don't want him to, to uh, trigger his uh, soul imprisonment again, but I am aware of MD at this point. so. I know that he's running MD because everybody is in tier one war. So at this point, I'm like, I want to make sure that I keep an infection up and I'm going to throw my SB2, even though it's going to trigger his aura because I want to get out of this fight. And I knew that that was going to regen him and then drain him again. And I could spam it with my power back. So super, super easy fight. I don't know why Andrew didn't want to throw his SB2 when he took it. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. Now let's take a look at this Mantis. So Mantis is tactic, uh, so she will be um, gaining power every time I crit, and this node gives a regen, and I'm running suicide, so the I, I plan on her power gaining per the node, which gives her a power gain whenever uh, I'm immune to anything, so I'm obviously immune to uh, the bleed and the poison, so that's, that's not going to catch me off surprise, but I do have a white magnet pre-fight, so I'm able to parry safely. And the plan is again to get two parries off and hit her once. I don't want her. I don't want to crit right away and trigger the node. Um, but I have my armor up, so it would have just uh, you know removed it. So at this point, basically, I'm going to four hit heavy, beta heavy, and just keep doing this so I can get to my SB2. And I'm not worried about the regen at all um, because a if I have my infection up, uh, it's taken care of. Uh, but b I can just do this. I'm going to spam my SB2. It'll get me to an SB2. I'm really just afraid of her SB1. And she comes at me and I throw it and the fight's over. So that that was an easy section one. Now up to Kindred. So again, like I mentioned, I, I hate playing at work. And <laughs> this time my staff left and nobody's at the office. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my war fights done and just go home and I don't have to worry about MCOC or anything like that. But I'm at the office and something always happens at the office. Like th th we're closed already. It's just me. And there's a point in his fight where someone starts pounding on my office door. Keep in mind we're closed, so obviously I don't know who's at the door. But the plan basically here is um, I'm running full recoil, max recoil, so three points in that, and then full bleed. I have max coagulate and mutant genesis uh, on. And that's for extra power because I don't have a, a ramp and I need to do at least 15% damage. And you see, you see right there, I someone started pounding at the door right when this fight started and I'm like what the hell is going on um, and then they stopped for a bit 
And I mean, I pounding. I'm like, I'm like, they're trying to like really get in. And at this point, they start pounding on the door again. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I'm like, uh, I, I need to answer the door. Like something's going on. I need to get out of this fight. So I'm like, you know what? If I don't get a intercept, I'm just gonna throw it. And then I, he throws his SB1. I, I tank it. I'm like, you know, just throw my SB3 and get out of this. I, I completely flustered. Um, it ended up being freaking Amazon. I don't know why they were so worried about, you know, um, making sure I answer the damn door. But anyways, um, I throw my SP3 and I have enough damage to power back because I, I can do about 15%. But I'm barely doing 15% with that first one. So I am glad that I threw all the extra points in uh, the bleed and recoil to get to that. And that's for worst case scenario, which is exactly what happened here. But each consecutive SP3, I'm getting more prowess up to a max of four, which it ultimately is um, is doing more and more damage for this kindred to go down. So I know that I'm uh, um, absolutely safe right here. After that one, um, it did quite a significant amount of damage. I should be able to get him down to 1% and then throw that last one to kill him. But this is why kindred, um, this is why, why we like sending X to kindred because something can go wrong. You don't have to worry about the root, any of that. Once you're just kind of at 100, you can kind of take them anywhere on the map. Um, so it's, it's really not a big deal. But that's the final one. Um, yeah, this is why I don't fight at work. But needless to say, it was fine. It looked a lot worse than it was. I knew I could get out of the fight ultimately. But um, the next fight I have is Kate Bishop. And the boss is already down. Mad Cat smoked a, a Wong boss with uh, Quicksilver. That was uh, that was cool to see. It's the first time we sent a Quicksilver towards the boss, and he absolutely demolished it. So I'm not using Warlock here. I was planning to. I mutant boosted, and I'm running um, my uh, mastery setup is for Professor X. So I'm just going to X her. I have a White Magneto pre-fight. That means I can parry heavy, and uh, Mighty Charge doesn't matter. The Global doesn't matter. All I have to do basically is bait some SP ones. Um, and throw my SB3. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna parry heavy, and um, and I could have heavy uh, countered her right there, but I chose just to kind of reset. And uh, at this point, I'm baiting an SB1. I'm not even gonna bother uh, dexing it uh, because it's my last fight. So it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use my heavy charge right here. She didn't even come at me, so I still have my falter. And <laughs> something weird happens in this fight. Like I actually. I'm gonna bait this SB1, and I have my um, my falter, so I'm gonna use it to heavy counter, and uh, or I'm gonna use it to get a uh, heavy intercept. This the game freezes, and I'm like, oh my god, in the middle of, of a heavy, so I don't know if I'll lose it. But then she just doesn't come at me, and I finally intercept her. I throw the SB3, and the fight is over. So um, now to a bonus fight. It's in the thumbnail. Um, it's this photon that we sent Andrew to with Herc. He absolutely destroyed it. But our, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen Karate Mike's video of taking a photon boss, craziness on the wall. He wall decks like 22 special twos and 21 uh, special ones and a bunch of heavies. You know, he absolutely destroyed that fight with Zemo. And everybody thinks that Zemo and Mike are just, you know, you know, bread and butter and stuff. But we sent in a different BG, we sent Hanford, um, extremely skilled player, over to take a Photon with Zemo. And, you know, he was like, oh, what's the rotation, Mike? Like, just trust me, just, you know, throw SB once and you're good. And, you you know, needless to say, you know, you we're watching this video and you can see that he's a little, he's double checking his boost, he, he's, he's checking uh, the nodes, he's thinking about what he has to do, he's boosted completely. And, um, and this is just to say, you know, Zemo is a good, if not the best, photon counter. This node makes her unblockable with three debuffs. He has recoil on for more damage, and uh, he's going to dash away at the beginning to, to use his cleanse charges to get rid of that so she doesn't go unblockable. And essentially, he's uh, the plan is basically to use his cleanse charges to, to root her, and then every hit is going to try to bleed her, and that will apply a fury because she's bleed immune, and then throw an SB1, which will apply like six bleeds. And on the last hit, which will be six big furies, which will be a massive, massive, um, you know, hit or damage on his next hit. That's the plan um, going in. 
uh, specifically Hanford, I don't think thought it would play out like that. Um, well, I know it plays out like that because I've seen the video. But uh, this was still very, very cool to watch, and it was, you know, it, it was cool to see that that it, it goes that way. So um, at this point, um, you know, the fight start, and I'm slowing. I, I have to slow down because um, it goes rather quickly. So you see that there's 10 seconds left. He gets that root. She's in that. Uh, in, in, she's in that rooted so all those bleeds are applying he throws that last sp1 and at this point half her health melts with that sp1 81k crit at the end and the fight is over so zemo good great okay photon counter you, you be the judge but uh let's take a look at how rbg did and real proud of the guys. We got another donut, so we're starting to sw swing things around. So, you know, we got a few kills. And let's take a look at the final stats. And we were able to get another win. We had two deaths in Alliance overall, which is great. Shout out to Wheeler, Admin, and Lags for the MVPs. Wheeler actually had a phenomenal war for my battle group. So I'm glad he got an MVP for this. Um, and... Uh, Overall, we're on the right track, obviously trending in the right direction, looking to get a few more wins under our belt so we can lock in Masters. I will see you guys in the next one.